Hello. In this video, we're going to see how to adapt LTI applications that include REST API into the Blackboard Original Experience and the Ultra Experience. So, there are a number of REST APIs out there that you might want to try in your development environment. Let's go ahead and to take a few for example. We're going to start our exploration in the admin panel. You might notice I'm using the ultra experience uh, version of Blackboard uh, but uh, our configuration will actually apply to both experiences. So we start our configuration in the admin panel and then we'll go ahead and start by looking at the REST API integrations. Here you'll have to create a new integration and there you'll provide the application ID which is uh, a publicly available application ID uh, that uh, developers uh, share in order for you to go ahead and start uh, adopting the application. Now as far as the learn user that you want to provide here, uh, you want to be careful. You want to make sure that the user you're providing is going to have just enough privileges to access the data the application is calling for, uh, but not more than that. So if a specific faculty member is calling or asking for a REST API application to be integrated, you could put in their user ID in this field so that they can use their own data or the data they have been granted access to through the REST application. If multiple faculty are requesting the application, you might need to create a new user that will have access to multiple sets of data, as in courses. Now, in this instance, it's a development environment, so I put in the administrator for testing. This works well. Now, some applications are going to allow you to use a little bit of innovation in that you will create your own application ID. Of course, you do that at the developer.blackboard.com API portal. And as Blackboard Administrator, you log in, create for each faculty that is requesting access to this REST API uh, application, a new application ID. And that's going to give you three elements, the application ID, the key, and the secret. And then, in the application that actually supports this way of uh, granular access, you will go into the uh, control panel. The faculty member can specify the application key, the secret, and application ID that are created under developer.blackboard.com. So this will be unique to every faculty member. But the benefit of it is that in your REST integrations, you then have a faculty member specific application ID that will match their user ID and this is going to keep their own access very much focused to the data that they already have access to. Now not all applications provide that level of security and certainly we see Blackboard also uh, trying to reach that level of uh, granularity with the end user access option at the bottom. So once you create the REST application integrations, and uh, in this instance I'm going to integrate uh, a few applications, uh, I have them all approved. I can then move on to the next step which is the LTI uh, integration. So now we'll go ahead and return to administrative tools and we're going to go to LTI tool providers. Now all of those applications uh, uh, are hosted by apps.data2.com. Here I'm going to create placements. They're already created so I go to manage placements. Notice I chose course tool as a way to deploy them. Now that's important because course tool is going to be available to your faculty member under the books and tools and also in the general ultra plus content uh, environment. So the course tool uh, instead of just content tool or just student tool. Inside of the actual definition for uh, each placement we're going to uh, specify a handle 
Now you can choose whatever uh, unique identifier you want specified here. Make sure that it is enabled. And in this instance, this tool will be available both to the student and the faculty member. Uh, let's let's also uh, uh, consider the icon. The icon is not automatically provided by the tool, so you actually have to download uh, a file that will specify the icon and then submit it here. The tool provider key and tool provider secret is actually defined uh, under the um, LTI tool provider. So let's go ahead and peek at this configuration. This often uh, means the license, so if you're paying for the tool, likely this is going to be a very unique key and secret, and it allows uh, companies to license these tools for you. It is, however, important that you check with the LTI configuration that the developer or the company created. You might want to make sure that the data is being sent only over SSL, but likely the tool is going to require some data about where the LTI click from, click came from. So was it instructor or student? What was the user that actually connected? And what was their email address? Those basic fields are typically used by most LTI tools. So make sure to have those selected. Now once we have the LTI tool providers and the placements configured, let's go ahead and see how this is applied inside of the course. So I am now going to enter a Blackboard Ultra course, which happens to be a brand new course that's empty. From here, the faculty have uh, an option to create content, use content market, uh, but then there's this also very useful uh, books and tools uh, menu. And so this is where we can then display all these LTI tools uh, in, in, in a fairly consistent way with the logo that you upload and then with the option of clicking on the actual uh, name or title. If you do that, it'll simply launch the tool as the specific instructor or if you click on the little plus, it will actually add it to the course. And so you then can choose whether you want to make it visible to students and of course as you execute it, it'll go ahead and open up uh, the application that you are looking for. Another way to add these tools is by clicking plus in the ultra uh, content uh, area and then we can say we'll go ahead and uh, uh, create something out of the content market. Now, If we just go to create we'll have an option for a folder document link uh, and uh, there is no option here for the tool. Now the teaching tools uh, is uh, able to configure LTI, however it requires faculty to remember the URL and of course this is going to be fairly confusing. So instead we're going to go to plus and go to content market. At this point the institution tools are the LTI tools that you specified as the course tool. So we can go ahead and cl click on the next one and uh, this particular one actually requires that we have some uh, students and the grades, uh, or actually just students in the class. Uh, this course does not have students. Uh, and notice that I actually clicked on the description and, and the uh, icon. Instead, I, I actually meant to click on the plus. That's a small detail. However, uh, it, for faculty, it might be uh, slightly uh, counterintuitive because the plus is so small, I would have expected that we can just go ahead and click on the main area of that button. But plus is required if you would like to uh, put it inside of the course. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, quickly add someone in the roster here so that uh, that particular tool works well. Let's go ahead and enroll someone in our course and we'll go ahead and uh, try to uh, find my user. All right. So that works. We'll go ahead and add the user as a student, cl close the roster. And so now if I execute this application, um, it also requires the gradebook to be present. So that makes uh, some amount of sense. Let's add an item here and uh, call it uh, a test. And uh, let's give it 100 points. Let's save it. Excellent. And we can even set up here um, 
the total grade. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and uh, press save, return to grades. And uh, that looks good. Uh, we have one test. Let's close it. And let's give it, um, let's see if we can grant the grade to this particular user. Let's make it 90. Uh, that's good enough. Uh, let's post this grade. And now we're going to return to our application. Let's go ahead and, and give it a try by executing uh, the gamification uh, leaderboard. And so as you can see, it is now loading uh, successfully. Okay, so that's a way then to add. Uh, again, what we just demonstrated was how to use the content market to include the Blackboard LTI tool. We also can use the uh, books and tools to select any of the tools. And uh, uh, this is going to uh, give us a way to uh, include these LTI options. Now, in addition, we can, of course, enable uh, the discussion on a specific tool. So from here, users can go ahead and uh, have a conversation about the specific tool that uh, they are using. So this is a way to embed these tools inside of an Ultra course. Let's go ahead and switch into an original course or original experience course and see how this might look like. Here we'll go into a content area and from the tools menu we're going to go to more tools and then notice that we have uh, the same options here, the same tools that we uh, configured earlier uh, that are available uh, to the uh, end user. So let's go ahead and uh, maybe uh, select the uh, gamification leaderboard. This looks good. Let's go ahead and submit. Notice that the icon is also copied from the configuration. Let's go ahead and make the next step and uh, choose another one. Uh, the sentiment stream. We'll go ahead and press submit. Notice how easy it is for faculty to adopt these tools once both the REST API and the LTI are properly configured. We'll go ahead and uh, grab next the uh, Blackboard uh, uh, IoT button. And uh, finally, uh, let's uh, grab the um, uh, next one, which would be um, Slack Discussion Forum. All right. So at this point, we have tools uh, that are common to the Ultra courses and to our uh, original courses. And of course, we can execute uh, these uh, with ease uh, just as uh, uh, just as uh, they, they are configured. So let's go to information and uh, of course we can uh, start uh, adopting uh, with a Slack or or any of the uh, other items. So hopefully this is uh, useful uh, about how to adopt applications in a SaaS platform for both the original and the ultra experience and uh, of course uh, we uh, hope that uh, the tools that are being developed by the community are going to be helpful uh, to all in uh, making the ultra courses uh, interesting, useful, and of course effective. Thank you.